Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm very, very proud to be opening Macintosh's latest release, their Macintosh MB50 media streamer. Now I've been lucky enough to actually have a play with the, one of these previously. My Wellington store's got one and uh, I've really, really fallen in love. There are some key features and all of those things that Macintosh do well, but this thing sounds amazing. I don't know what they have done inside, I guess I don't need to know, but I'm over the moon with the quality of this product. Being just a streamer, I thought nothing much of it, but wow, it's amazing. So, let's have a look. Firstly, Macintosh's boxes. This is a relatively small piece and relatively light, so it's not double boxed like most of the larger pieces from Macintosh. It's sealed at the top with Macintosh's tape, as usual, and at the bottom with staples. This is classic from Macintosh. This particular box has um, seen a bit of life. I mean, it's been beaten up in, in freight, but here we are in Christchurch, New Zealand. It's not unexpected for boxes to get a little bit roughed up. But uh, you'll see inside the packaging is excellent, so it will have not come to any damage whatsoever. Okay, so without further ado, firstly, Macintosh uh, information on all the four sides, uh, model and serial number, and uh, the factory tape is very, very easy to open. Um, because it's not double boxed, I'm taking a little bit of care to ensure that I'm lifting the tape away from potentially the product underneath, and then cutting it carefully with a knife. Opening it and having a look, you'll see just how confident I was about its packaging because you can see a heap of, of foam around it. So we lift the box off this product. Um, here it is. Right, okay, Macintosh's user manual. This is full colour. Um, it's excellent to see such a comprehensive manual. Um, speaks about setup. Uh, there's a basic setup guide in there as well, so for those that are confident, they can quickly get it going. There's a couple of um, AAA batteries, these are from Duracell. There's two Wi-Fi aerials. Um, the streamer does not have a network socket, so uh, it relies on the dual Wi-Fi. There is a remote control. This is a cute little remote from Macintosh, you'll see it's a an excellent shape, designed to sit in the palm of your hand easily. There's a plug pack. This uh, is a multi-voltage, 100 to 240 volt pack with uh, a traditional, uh, let's have a look, it's actually a 5 volt, 3.6 amp. There's a New Zealand figure 8 power cord and product nuts packaging. Now lifting this off is really really easy. The packaging is designed to keep it suspended inside of its boxes and with that it looks, you know, we know that it's going to come to us easily. It's sellotaped closed so from underneath a simple couple of nicks and we've got ourselves access to the product inside its plastic bag. Like most Macintosh pieces, the plastic bag is in fact um, uh, oversized and so it's got excellent coverage. In the bag is a desiccant uh, moisture resistant thing. Okay, so here we go. Looking at this for the first time. Um, this is a half size component, um, half size. It's actually the same width as Macintosh's headphone amplifier and, and small integrated amp. <coughs> And their latest release, little hybrid valve um, integrated amplifier as well. Looking across the front, your first thing you'll see is that this is following the PlayFi architecture. So you'll see the PlayFi logo. Above that is a headphone socket. Uh, Macintosh is renowned for ensuring that the headphone sockets are actually genuinely excellent, and the headphone amplifier on board is, is perfect. Following across is the input button. You'll see, and please hang around for some photographs of the back, you'll see at the rear that this actually has a number of different inputs you could use, both coaxial and optical digital, along with an analog input that can be selected from that button, uh, giving you a lot of flexibility to either use this as a DAC or um, to overcome any limitations of uh, lack of analog inputs on the next device you have. 
The next button along is for Wi-Fi and other setups. Um, it illuminates to let you know what's going on, blinks different colours, all of those types of things. Across from there you've got the volume up and down, and pushing both gives you a mute. Um, and then of course standby on and off, and over to one side um, the Wi-Fi certification logo. This is relatively light and relatively shallow. Um, reasonable ventilation across the top, and it's not very deep. At the rear, we'll see how well appointed this product is. And again, please hang around for the close-up photographs that I will take. Across the rear, we've got its first um, Wi-Fi antenna, the 5-volt input. Trigger ins and outs associated with control, either turning this product on or allowing it to control and turn on other products that are, that are attached. There is a rear USB. This is a standard USB, um, most likely designed for the use of um, uh, uh, portable USB sticks. Um, I doubt it will support the large portable hard drives. This is where we've got the digital inputs further along, coaxial and optical that I mentioned from the button at the front, and an analog input. Given the fact that this has variable volume, it gives the flexibility of using this um, as, a, as a, a switch or hybrid sort of product for those that need some inputs to be used, or of course the excellent DAC. The outputs are the most um, of the most benefit. This is where the flexibility of this product really comes in. It has both coaxial and optical digital outputs, and beside it, RCA or unbalanced outputs. These can be set to fixed or variable, and beside it, last of all, is balanced set of outputs, and above it, the aerial. Now, this product for streaming capabilities has a superb DAC on board. So uh, it would be a shame, I guess, to use the digital outs, but it gives you a lot of flexibility should it be going into a high-end DAC or CD player. Okay, so this lovely product, and yes, I'm very enamored with it, this Macintosh MB50 Media Streamer, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.